Now we get to part two, which is recent news that happened today about uh, Dr. West's campaign. Now, I want to remind you guys again, like, we're just going through the timeline here. Dr. West announced presidential campaign through the People's Party. That was under with Nick Brana. He left the People's Party um, and went to the Green Party and then left the Green Party and decided to run as an independent. Now, before we get to that campaign news, I ju just want to I want you to hear what Margaret Kimberly had to say a uh, really quick in reference to Cornell West when she was on um, Ron Paclone show about his decision to leave the Green Party. Just listen to this real quick. Cornell West speaks very, very highly of you. You are a Green Party member. Yep. Do you agree with Cornell West's recent decision to not seek the Green Party nomination? I do not. I was I was very, very disappointed. I thought it could have been huge politically for the country, for the Green Party, for the left in general, for him. But for whatever reason, I get the feeling he hadn't really thought it through and it was something he wasn't really ready to do. And uh, so I was extremely disappointed. The, the Democrats, by the way, in New York State uh, have gotten the Greens off the ballot. We don't have a ballot line anymore. Andrew Cuomo, one of his parting gifts, mm -hmm. um, they raised the threshold for getting nominating petition signatures and it's this huge number that we can't reach. Um, and absent someone like, even with a big name person like West, it still would have been hard, but it, it gave us uh, some possibility. Uh, you know, all the issues of that the Green Party stands for, that um, uh, people want and agree with. Uh, I, there was something about having this well-known person that there were people I was surprised who said, I would vote for Cornell West. I was kind of pleasantly surprised. And now we're back to square one. Um, uh, who would that be? The people whose names have been mentioned are people I don't want. I, I don't want to spend time talking about people I don't want. No, sure. But yeah. um, uh, it, it's so we're back to square one, uh, scrambling. And, and New York is not alone. Other states have gotten the greens off the ballot. Okay, and we can just stop there. So I wanted you to hear... Um, you know, the, the Green Party is not without its flaws. They're having some some issues as well. Like uh, New York is one of those states where even if you're part of the Green Party, you're going to have to run as an independent in states like New York, right? Even if you're running through the Green Party. So, um, and that's unfortunate. And so I say all that because there was news that broke today. Uh, and this came straight from Dr. West himself. And he said, I'm very sorry about the resignation of brother Peter Dow based on his health. I sincerely pray for him and his precious family and thank him for his service to my campaign. And Peter Dow uh, did respond right here. And he did say, thank you, brother Wes. And then he was sharing uh, some information about Gaza as well. So this is tricky because, you know, some people had already lost like their enthusiasm for Dr. West campaign after he left the Green Party. For others, that brought them on board. They were excited he was running as independent and didn't want him to run through the Green Party, right? But then there was always still this, this issue with Peter Dow. So Peter Dow's the campaign manager or was the campaign manager. He came from the Democratic Party. For those who are not familiar, he managed, you know, he worked with Hillary Clinton. And that's why a lot of people have criticism because he was part of Hillary Clinton's campaign and was a part of the whole Bernie bro like thing. So I interviewed Peter. Um, I did ask him questions about that. And Peter has since, you know, left the Democratic Party and has been promoting third party and independence. But there was a lot of hesitancy because Peter did come from Marianne Williamson's campaign and I'm starting to see a pattern. Now, I wanna show you what I mean by that pattern. When I interviewed Peter, one of the questions I did ask him about was, you know, the leaving of Marianne Williamson's campaign and joining Dr. West's campaign. At that point in time, uh, the reason that he gave is because he said that 
his uh, his parents had health issues uh, that they were ailing. And so he had to leave the campaign to take care of them. But I, I want you to hear what he said here. And I want you to uh, make some make some guesses yourself. Listen to this. Your tweet, you mentioned that you were having to leave the campaign to take care of, of your, your parents. I guess they were, were ailing at that point in time. But a lot of people have assumed that it's it's more than that because of all the other information that's come out about Marianne's campaign. So I want to give you the opportunity to explain uh, why did you decide to leave that campaign? Yeah, may I, may I say why I decided to join it as well? Because I think that'll provide some context. Um, okay, so when I joined Marianne's campaign, there was nobody else who had declared. Certainly Cornell, uh, Cornell West had not, and certainly uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. had not, and Biden had not. Um, I had made a vow that I was going to do everything I could to shake up the system this time and to not let the duopoly just decide who we were getting. And I've been very vocal about it, you know, trying to push Biden out of the race. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have privately and publicly encouraged both Marianne Williamson, and I'm be very slow and crystal clear about this, and Bobby Kennedy Jr. to run as independents, not because I support them or don't support them. This is for me was all about a mission for to actually have democracy. You know, the Democrats were saving democracy. You're not saving, first of all, what democracy are you saving? Second of all, you're kicking greens off the ballot. You're squelching any sort of opportunity for an actual primary. So for me, when I joined that campaign in 2021, I think I sent you this tweet. I don't know if uh, maybe you can put it up or share it. Um, with your viewers. In 2021, I publicly told Marianne Williamson in an exchange on Twitter, I'm supporting third parties and independent candidates. Marianne hired me knowing that was my position. And I encouraged her to do it, both in the campaign, and I encouraged her to do it when I left the campaign. Um, well, one, one second, Peter, sorry to interrupt, but I, I found that and I, I do want to have a question really quick before you go on. Uh, so this is the tweet that Peter is referring to, calling on Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Marianne Williamson, run as independents, time to stop the farce that the Democratic primary is Democratic. So this was May 25th of 2023. So just so people are clear and understand that, when you joined that campaign, your intention was to get them to run, to get her and to also get RFK Jr. to break away and run as an independent. I believe that was the right thing. I have to be careful, not because I have an NDA. Marianne Williamson released me from my NDA, but because I'm a professional and I don't um, talk shit, excuse my language, about people I've worked with, whether I agree with them or not. So I'm not here to trash Marianne Williamson. Um, and the, the issue with my mother. So here's what happened. At the time that Marianne called me and told me I'm running and I need a campaign manager, I was down in Florida where my mother was in hospice care. She's still okay, thank God, a year later. Um, but she was very, my mother was very, very sick in hospice care. And then at the same time, Leela, my wife, her mother received a terminal diagnosis and also in Florida. So we were down there taking care of our parents. And Marianne called. I thought, okay this is an opportunity for me to do what I thought. Maybe run and do a dirty break. Maybe she'll decide to run as an independent. Whatever we do, we're gonna put some fear into the system, into the coronation of Joe Biden. I, I thought, you know, I'm trying to be strategic here. Nobody else was running. I had no idea Cornell West was gonna run. I certainly, you know, this is my dream to be working. Okay, and I think, you know, you've, you've seen uh, enough there, but the point that I, I'm trying to make is this, you know, he left Marianne Williamson's campaign because there were health issues uh, with, the, with the family. So um, it's just now he's leaving Dr. West's campaign also because of health issues. Now, I don't know anything more than what I saw in that tweet. Um, I don't know if you guys do or not, but that's all that I know. Um, and I'm going to keep it real. Like some people don't believe it. I've heard from a number of people today. Some people don't believe it. Some people think that that's just an excuse. Some people believe that Peter set all this up from the get go, because this is what has been said to me, that some people feel like if since he joined the campaign, when Dr. West was under the Green Party, then the next thing you know, Dr. West leaves the Green Party. Peter's still the campaign manager. Then the next thing you know, now Peter is stepping down as campaign manager. So uh, what I want people to understand is that ballot access is crucial and it's, it's not easy to get ballot access as an independent or a third party 
candidate. The difference was running through the Green Party is that the Green Party already has ballot access and I believe secured at least in 18 states from last I understood. So he would he would already start off with that 18. So when he switched from a green to independent, now it's like he has to start all over again in reference to ballot access. So when Dr. West was on the show last time, what I explained to him is that I was concerned about certain states. We'll, we'll give three in particular, California, Texas, and Arizona, in reference to the ballot access. Those states require a lot of money to raise as an independent. This is not to say you can't do it, but it's, it is harder, right? Whereas the Green Party already has access to those states. So the thing is, is that they were just almost done getting the ballot access for Arizona for the Green Party. So there's been a lot of changes that have happened within the campaign in a short amount of time. And that can give people pause. And I, I'm not, I can't sit here and tell you not to pause. I can't sit here and tell you not to be concerned. I can't tell you if Peter is telling the truth or not telling the truth. I don't know. I only know what was in the tweet. But what I can say, and I know it's not 2024 yet, but what I can say is the way that things have changed and the pace that these changes have happened, it's a cause for concern. And so my question to Dr. West would be, what are the next steps forward? Because now Dr. West not only has to start over as an independent and trying to get ballot access as an independent in all those states, but now he has to find another campaign manager. So there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot happening in a short amount of time. Now I have noticed some changes for the positive. I have noticed that in these interviews now, Dr. West seems to be a lot more fiery than he was when he was under the Green Party. Again, I don't know if that was just part of, you know, Green Party maybe didn't want him talking a certain way. I don't know for certain, but I have noticed the change. But that being said, now it's like back to square one. Now Dr. West has to find another campaign manager and he's starting all over as an independent trying to get ballot access. And we can't ignore the fact that some people are wondering, did Peter Dow mess this up all on purpose? Did he convince Dr. West to leave the Green Party and then he leaves and he runs an independent? Was this all a part of Peter's plan? And I also have to ask the question because he knew that there were family health concerns when he was a part of Marianne's campaign. That's why he stepped down from the campaign. So was it a good idea at that point in time for him to manage another campaign, knowing that there were those health concerns in the fam? These are just questions that I have. But I mean, for all the, the, the people that said, like, this guy is doing this on purpose, going to mess it up. This just is just going to validate, like, their feelings about how they felt. I don't know. We can talk about this more on call in tonight, but I'm really, it's, it's concerning. Cause like I said, you're like starting all over from a square one. But that being said, the exact opposite has happened from some, for some people they're like, yay, Peter's gone. They're happy that Peter's not a part of the campaign anymore. I don't know. Maybe I can uh, talk to Dr. West about this. Um, to see, you know, the next steps for the campaign or how he's feeling about this. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I do hear that there is a recently unemployed campaign manager named Dennis Kucinich. I wonder if he would be open to doing this. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it is a cause for concern.